Today we're going to take our third gen RAV4 off-road for its first real-world field test. Stop it, we're not saying that on camera. But I did want to bring some recovery gear just in case. So we got traction boards, we got air inflator and an air deflator. And then I do have a tire plug kit and some recovery straps. I don't know the capability of this RAV4. We're going to go to an area that gets real ugly real quick. And I really want to find the limits of this car. So we're going to go find the limits. I want to bring some safety equipment just in case we reach that limit and we still need to get home. Before we actually get on the freeway, let me give you guys some measurements of the RAV4 so you can see exactly what we're dealing with before we hit the trail. The biggest part of any off-road car, lifted or non-lifted, will be a wheel and tire package. Of course, highway tires are not going to go do good off-road and off-road tires, super extreme ones, don't do so good on the highway. The best thing about the tires that we're running is they're the best of both worlds. These are the Netto Nomad Grapplers. They have a 3 PMS rating, so they do work in snow. The tread wear is 540, so they have a very good mileage life on them. They're a blend between a highway tire and an off-road tire. And then you can see the sidewall here is pretty aggressive, but if you get a little bit closer, it's a nice even cap of the tire with plenty of zigzag grooves, sipes, and large blocks. So these tires should do exactly what we need them to do off-road. The size that we're running is 245, 65, 17. Now that's pretty big for a third gen RAV4, but realistically, you can go a little bit bigger on these cars. The next thing we have are the Rika wheel. They're made for RAV4 specifically in the lug pattern, the offset and the width. Throw the specs right there. I, I opted for all black for the wife because she drives this car and uh, I really think it makes the car just look a little bit more punchy and a little bit more beefy. And then everything on the footwork is mated with a Northwoods 4x4 lift kit. We went with the base model lift kit. That's just the KYB shocks front and rear, no real upgrades there. But the big thing that we are happy that we got is we also got a Northwoods 4x4 skid plate. So if we do run into anything a little bit aggressive on the trail, hopefully the skid plate will come into play and do its job. With all that said, let's take some measurements of the car and give you some clearance numbers. We're gonna start with the side to the side skirt. It looks like we're at 13 and a half inches. So there's some clearance there. I'm just gonna use above the mud flap. And that clearance is about horrible tape measure I mean come on it's about 13 inches as well we're gonna measure the very bottom of the skid plate because truly that's what is our lowest point of our ground clearance so let me get in here so with that skid plate on we are at nine inches wait yeah nine inches of ground clearance the, the reason that is is because the Northwoods 4x4 skid plate actually has spacers built in to give you a margin of error if you do hit something so Realistically, this car is rocking around nine inches of ground clearance. It's not the best in the class, but it should be enough for us to go hit some trails and see what it does. We've gone 14 and a half miles so far, and we're averaging 29.3 miles per gallon. To give you a sense of the of what we've been driving on, for the most part, it's been highway cruising at around 60 miles an hour. But right here, it's kind of like a city detour. We're gonna be accelerating decelerating accelerating decelerating a lot so we'll give you guys another update once we get to our destination of what the actual gas mileage that the car reports is we got to the trail and it was kind of a mixture of highway driving city driving the area this that we're in today is called tahuya state forest and i'm going to give you guys a little sample of what we got for miles we were averaging 23 point six mpgs over 32 miles with mixed terrain of city driving and highway driving so overall pretty good as you can see these trails are not necessarily the easiest and so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get this RAV4 through these trails today um, nothing hard nothing crazy just easy stuff uh, but before we do that we're going to air down because I want to make sure that we have all the traction we need in this little car of course we only have nine inches of ground clearance in the middle of the car we have a little bit more on each side I want to make sure these tires have a, have a chance to bite. So let's air these bad boys down. All right, we're all aired down and we're going to go back to the trail. And we're just going to do the easy stuff today. Now, the crazy thing with Tahuya is it gets a little hairy really fast. Mm -hmm. 
So if we get to a point where this car is in an area where we definitely know we can't, then we're just gonna back out and yeah. figure it out. Ready for an adventure? Oh yeah. Okay, but well, we're gonna see what a V6 RAV4 can do. Here we go, coming in. Oh, already so much better now that you've aired down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock the diff to see what happens. It's orange, so the diff's locked. All right, this is a really tough section. We're actually up on a hill. The, the dirt is very loose and it's a lot of camber. So Emily's gonna film the outside and I'll film what it's like on the inside. Look at the RAV4 doing its thing amongst the trees. This is a very hard off-road trail for a compact SUV and it's doing great. You're good. All right, baby, you've only driven it maybe, I'd say, a quarter of a mile. How does it feel? It's doing great. It's doing great. <laughs> I feel like I'm not worried, but the GX when we took it last time yeah. was very, very scary and nerve-wracking. Nerve but this is just smaller, so yeah. it's easier? Yeah. But also not as sure-footed. It skid, skids. Oh, yeah. It does skid. Yeah. So what we're going to intentionally do, Emily, is we're going to take the RAV4 over something that is normally a little tough for these cars, and I'm going to show you. We're going to intentionally take the RAV4 over these roots here and kind of see how high they are. You can see some Jeep sway bar bracket broke on this terrain because it really flexes out the tires as it comes through here. So we're gonna take Emily through here. It's a little narrow. All right, babe, come on. Driver, now go straight. Okay, this is the hardest part here. And we're intentionally getting the tire stuck to see how it does. All right, go ahead. Come on, drive with both feet. There you go, you almost made it up. There you go, good job. All right, keep the wheel straight, don't turn. Okay. All right, keep going. Good job. All right, let's see how we're doing on the other side. Oh, you got plenty of room. You got plenty of room. And I actually slid you where you want to go. Oh, okay. Okay, so just aim the wheel straight, drive with both feet. All right, back it up a little bit. Let it go back. Aim towards driver. All right, go ahead. Drive forward? Yes, drive forward. You got it, honey. You're good. Woo, keep going. All right, good job. So that was intentionally hard. Oh yeah, it was really scary. Yeah, it was scary, but I mean, you slid a little bit, but the car did, tires did good, car did good, four wheel drive works. Cool. Kodak's yawning, he's bored. There we go, good job. Passenger, there we go. Good job. See how the RAV4 does through a water crossing. She doesn't really require much spotting through here. All right, come on in. Yep, you're good.
Going downhill is easy, right? Downhill still, when it goes like sideways. But the car wants to go downhill. It's not fighting for traction downhill. It just, it goes. All right, you can see the terrain. RAV4 is handling this stuff perfectly. There's a lot of roots. It's kind of a damp, slippery forest mud, um, some clay. Um, and you know, arguably this is kind of like the worst conditions to test a car like this in because roots get slick, mud gets slick, but look, it's doing pretty good. There's gonna be a drop off on your passenger right here. Come on, you got it. Skid plate's doing its job. Perfect, look at that. Doing good, look at that. How far are we going? It's fun to go slow, isn't it? It is. All right, now we're gonna test the RAV4 in some real sticky mud. And this is the kind of stuff that makes any car or truck get stuck. Here we go. Come in driver, come in driver. Look at that. Doing great. All right, go passenger and then up on that high area to the right over there, you're gonna stop, we'll turn around. Look at that. Woo, up over a big root there. All right, stop here, we'll turn around. The uh, the RAV4 actually done pretty good in this condition, huh babe? It's really good. I mean, this is like muddy, you can see it's like clay, uh, pebbles, roots, a little wet, and it's doing great. Now, no, this is not a forerunner. There's no true locking diffs. There's only a locking center diff but for a CUV on upgraded tires and wheels with a small lift and a skid plate, dude, like this is very confidence inspiring. Now the hard part begins, we're gonna try and get out of here and go uphill in this loose stuff. So let's turn this car around and, and see what she's got. Watch Holy this tire coming moly. up. Look, 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 we're teeter-tottering. Look at us go. Oh my it's God. Wheels in the air. Wheels in the air. This is actually a fantastic illustration of the limit of droop or flex of a RAV4. And go show the back tire real quick. Way in the air. Yeah. And that's because this car really isn't designed to like droop down. It's double wishbone suspension, front and rear. But we're gonna be able to get down this pretty safely. There's a big root. Ah! Wow. Wow. Judging by the side by side of the Hummer, maybe the RAV4 is punching above its weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or is it uh, wow. is it terrain it's not used to? <laughs> They're like, what? I'm gonna take a line through the mud uphill, which should be a lot harder than Emily coming downhill. So here we go. Ooh. No issue. Nice. Now this is where it gets hard. We're actually truly going uphill, a little off camber, and we're gonna see how the RAV actually does up here. All right, that was that was gnarly. It was fun. I mean, look at that. That's everything we went through. Now it's time to go through to the water crossing again. Now this isn't really technical, but it's fun. pretty steep through here. She's doing great. She's doing so good. I think this is one of three times Emily drove off-road. She just likes to go fast. 
Nice. There you go. Look at it go. All right, there she is. We're still at an average of 17.2, 17.1, it's dropping because it's idling, miles per gallon after driving 33 miles. Or maybe three or four of those miles off-road, but really slow going. Overall, I can't believe how well the RAV4 did. It's not an off-road car. You can see there's limits of travel up and down. There's a lot of wheels in the air. Uh, there's some skidding that happens. But for the money and for the mileage that we got on the way here and for the value and the nimbleness this is a great off-roader that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching we're going to continue on head back home we got the rest of our saturday ahead of us hopefully there'll be more rav4 adventures in the future all right here's a good test we're at 23 psi in the rear and we're going to see how fast it takes to get to 36 psi with the pump that i made just small little flex at the end of, end of the video bonus 23 to 36 here we go three two one go About 35 seconds, 37 seconds.